To be like the rock that the waves keep crashing over, it stands unmoved and the raging of the sea falls still around it. There is nothing noble in being superior to your fellow man. True nobility is being superior to your former self. It is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. Everyone thinks of changing the world, but no one of changing himself. Some people don't want to hear the truth because they don't want their illusions destroyed. It is loss which teaches us about the worth of things. No loss should be more regrettable to us than losing our time, for it is irretrievable. It is not by muscle, speed or physical dexterity that great things are achieved, but by reflection, force of character and judgement. The secret of happiness, you see, is not found in seeking more, but in developing the capacity to enjoy less. Awareness of ignorance is the beginning of wisdom. Do not go through life like a leaf blown from here to there believing whatever you are told. How can you call a man free when his pleasures rule over him? Sometimes you have to let go to see if there is anything worth holding on to. Don't demand that things happen as you wish, but wish that they happen as they do happen. These reasonings are unconnected. I am richer than you, therefore I am better. I am more eloquent than you, therefore I am better. The connection is rather this. I am richer than you, therefore my property is greater than yours. I am more eloquent than you, therefore my style is better than yours. But you, after all, are neither property nor style. When any person harms you or speaks badly of you, remember that he acts or speaks from a supposition of its being his duty. Say upon every occasion, it seems so to him. Care about what others think and you will always be their prisoner. We cannot control the impressions others form of us, 
and the effort to do so only debases our character. Putting things off is the biggest waste of life. It snatches away every day as it comes and denies us the present by promising the future. My life has been full of terrible misfortunes, most of which never happened. The things you own end up owning you. I was not, I was, I am not, I care not. Why should I fear death? If I am, then death is not. If death is, then I am not. Why should I fear that which can only exist when I do not? Long time men lay oppressed with slavish fear. Religious tyranny did domineer. At length the mighty one of Greece began to assent the liberty of man. On the verge of dying and still weighed down, still turbulent, still convinced eternal things can harm you, still rude to other people, still not acknowledging the truth that wisdom is justice. Look into their minds at what the wise do and what they don't. Disgraceful for the soul to give up when the body is still going strong. Don't be ashamed to need help. Like a soldier storming a wall, you have a mission to accomplish. And if you've been wounded and you need a comrade to pull you up, so what? Man, what are you talking about? Me in chains? You may fetter my leg, but my will not even Zeus himself can overpower. Freedom is secured not by the fulfilling of men's desires, but by the removal of desire. You see, then, that it is necessary for you to become a student, that creature which everyone laughs at, if you really desire to make an examination of your judgments. But this, as you are quite aware, is not the work of a single hour or day. The tranquility that comes when you stop caring what you say, or think, or do. Only what you do. Not to be distracted by their darkness. To run straight for the finish line unswerving. Not to be driven this way and that, but always to behave with justice and see things as they are. Practice even what seems impossible. The left hand is useless at almost everything for lack of practice, but it guides the reins better than the right from practice. <laughs> 